Chapter 7.8, Circle Graphs. So today we're going to learn about a circle graph, um, which is basically just graphing data using a circle to show how much of something goes to different places versus using a bar graph or a line graph or something like that. So examples one and two are going to use this chart. Where do all the apples go? So example one, Use the circle graph above. How are 13% of apples used? Looking at the chart, this piece of the pie here is labeled 13%, and I can see that it is exported. So 13% of apples are exported. Example two, Using the circle graph above, how many apples are eaten fresh? Well, I can see here it's eaten fresh, and it is going to 48%. So 48% of apples are eaten fresh. Now, notice 48% is nearly half. It's only 2% away from 50%. So notice that the light blue area is almost half of my circle graph. The other 52%, or almost half, are then split between processed, things like pie filling and applesauce, and exported. So 39%, 40%, a significant portion versus 13%, really pretty small, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at example three, sketching a circle graph. In one season, the Seattle Mariners baseball team stole a total of 174 bases. Sketch a circle graph of the data. So here we have uh, three players, Suzuki, McLemore, and Cameron and other players combined. Our total is 174. So the first thing I need to do, step one, is to find each percent. So I'm going to do that. You wanna make sure that you label your work so that you know who it is that you're talking about. So Suzuki scored 56 of the 174, or took 56 of the 174 stolen bases. Feel free to use a calculator to do this division. This is about 32%. Go ahead and round to the nearest whole number. That's fine. Okay? Uh, Macklemore, it's a really bad L, sorry. Macklemore stole 39 of the 174 bases, which is about 20%. Cameron, switch colors so it's a little easier to see. Cameron, he stole 34 of the 174, which is approximately Oh, I'm sorry, this one's 20%. Macklemore was 22%. And other players were 45 of the 174 which is approximately 26%. So now I need to make my circle graph. So I'm gonna recommend that you use something actually round, um, a small cup or something to make your circle so that it's a little bit neater than my free drawn circle here. Well, that's probably not half bad. All right, so how do I do this? Well, I'm gonna start here with other because 
is only 1% away from 25%, which is one-fourth. So one, just about one-fourth of the, the, my circle. So here's 26% other. Okay, I'm going to label my graph inside the graph itself because mine is large enough. If yours isn't large enough, you can label it outside like the apple uh, circle graph on the previous page um, and just draw a straight line to the part of the graph that it's labeling. That's fine. Okay, uh, you can also color code it, which I'm going to do also. So let's see. Now I see that 32% plus 22%, well, that's like 55%, 32 plus 20, that's 52%. So Cameron and Suzuki make just about half, not quite half, a little bit more. So let's actually use, so I'm gonna draw my line just a little bit so that it's not quite straight, just a little bit off to the side. Now Suzuki got 32%, so his portion is going to be a little bit bigger. So this is 32% by Suzuki. And this is 20% by Cameron. And that leaves this pie here, which is a little bit less than a fourth, which is going to be Macklemore at 22%. So 22% Macklemore. So here's my circle graph. I see that Suzuki has the largest percentage, and so he has the largest piece of the pie. Cameron has the smallest percentage. He has the smallest piece of the pie. The others have a quarter plus 1%, so they really have a quarter, and Macklemore has just under a quarter at 22%. All right, so uh, your book shows um, other ways to label. One other option is to create a color key. So if I just had the 22% in purple, but didn't label it, I could use the purple to make a key out here, Macklemore, okay? So I could also make a color key just outside my graph. That would work fine also, as long as the colors match, okay? Some way to indicate that they are how they match. All right, that's it for examples. Complete your QCs and your CYU, and I'll answer questions the next time I see you.